Narvi. Jason Narvi's outtakes and and, uh, and Paul's and all that. They, they made the air. I love when they showed the outtakes. I forgot what season it was. But on Zio or whatever, like yeah. on the end of it, they show some outtakes and stuff like that. Yeah, in the back with the bandana and the glasses and the yeah. In America. In America. <laughs> 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 just here's Curry, just the greatest thing to ever come out of Japan, ever. <laughs> I think it was the greatest thing that ever came out of Japan, besides sushi. <laughs> I, I, for me, it was the greatest thing. <laughs> for me, I, I think it was great. I like the Japanese series a little bit better because it had blood and a little bit more violence, you know? I always pushed for the violence, but um, unfortunately, like... Saban and Disney, we always had a smile when we do fight scenes. I was tired of smiling all the time. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, smile. Then uh, on, on Dino Thunder, on Dino Thunder, I was doing my kiosk. I was like, uh, shoot, like that, right? So I got a, a memo. Memos don't work well for me because I just like rebel against memos. I got a memo under my door that said uh, from Disney that said, uh, please refrain from using any cuss words and stuff like that. And the word S H I T. When I key eye, so I'm like, they must think when I go, that means I go, shit. <laughs> For like a couple of fights, I was like, shit, stop, push it, <laughs> Kid in the candy store, don't eat candy. How come? Don't touch that. Why not? You know, the little thing says, don't turn this page over. I always turn it over. I want to see what's underneath. <laughs> yes. How did it feel playing around when the bad guy shot the laser at the floor? Oh, when the laser in costume? Yeah. A lot of, a lot of that stuff was filmed in, you know, the Japanese, you know, we, we stole it from, you know, used it, borrowed it, uh, Japanese footage, and then we just intercut it with, you know, us in like an odd costume and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to feel the laser. Feel the laser. <laughs> One time a laser did hit me, but two times. Apparently missed it, missed it, just singed. Okay, oh, uh, yes, in the back. Um, I got a question and kind of a request. So, um, Every time when people see requests, I go, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not taking my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I want my pants off. <laughs> All right, let's see. Go ahead, sorry. $20, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, man. So many people. Yeah, well, both companies are cheap, but, <laughs> but they are, they're, they're cheap. Okay, but anyway, the, uh, what I mean, <laughs> Saban unfortunately didn't keep a lot of people, you know, like happy, mm. and Disney's the same way, but. I think Saban, now that they bought it back, I think Haim is smart to buy it back. I think he's got the right formula for it. And, um, you know, I think he, he knows the he, he knows that certain, you know, the way it's supposed to be. And Disney has different producers. They don't really know the whole Power Ranger franchise. Haim's the start of the Power, Power Ranger franchise. So I think it's going to be good in Saban's hands again. Well, you think and, Disney took away, out some of the, took away out some of the more visible morals? From what I remember, Power Rangers, um, when, you, when it was... Um, the original series, they had, they had more, they taught more. Um, and I think when Disney got it, they took out some of that. They forced, but they put it, they focused it more on action. And, and they yeah, the only reason about. why that happened, though, is because when I left Saban, like, you know, I left as a ranger, and, um, because I just, you know, was, I, I don't know, it's a long story, but I left, and then they kind of got rid of everyone else. And Saban, you know, didn't want to have the actors feel like they have power, you know? So, hold on. Uh, they, they didn't want them to have that's why they changed the season in actors every season so the actors by the time the actor has any kind of power you know because when my Green Ranger I was supposed to go to well I, I filmed Cybertron yeah. which was VR Troopers okay and I left the show as a Green Ranger Brad Hawkins who was in Cybertron was supposed to take my role as the White Ranger well I was happy because I was next door in my own sound stage by myself you know so I was like oh this is perfect you know my own room and then, uh, then, then we made the switch back and I was happy because then we started doing the movie again um, so, you know. Okay, and my request was, um, I didn't get to see you do this in person, and you did it um, at a convent, other convention. Did you do your Green Ranger laugh, please? Uh, oh, the evil Green Ranger laugh? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
No, no, I, I wasn't in jiu-jitsu. My, my style at that time uh, was I uh, trained in an organization called Red Dragon Karate since the age of four. Yeah, it was American Red Dragon. Style. Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Uh, it was American. It was American blend. And uh, when I auditioned for the show, I was a third degree black belt at the time. So my base style was like uh, Shotokan, and you know. So uh, yeah, I have I have that style. Then I started doing jiu-jitsu and wrestling because you have to, you know. So I just don't want my ears like the cauliflower stuff. <laughs> It makes me hungry <laughs> I guess. Can we just break up with you again? <laughs> wow. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, and then go ahead. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, but I'm in Levi's and my pants are going to rip. No, I don't wear underwear. That's the problem. No, look. Um, I thought this was like a martial arts class. I was going to teach you guys reactions and stuff like that. But there's just too many people in here. You're that popular. Well, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. But, you know, you can Google me. It feels funny. But you can. Next time I come out, I'll do something. Google me right now. Stop! Alright, let's see. How about... Okay. Over there. Yeah. Uh, how'd you get start? Like, how'd you answer the, the casting call for Power Rangers in the first place? Were they like looking for a guy to play a dude in a green suit? <laughs> no, it was, uh, actually the script was called Phantoms, and I was, it was, it was I went to an agency called the Agency. Uh, it's true. And then I went there, and then I, I was supposed to get represented. I had long hair, and the guy told me cut my hair. Make a long story short, I cut my, I cut my hair and went back to him, and I said, look, I cut my hair, ready to sign me. He's like, I don't have time. I'm doing a Coca-Cola commercial. I was like, no, I cut my hair, you're going to sign me. Because I cut my hair. So I was kind of being really persistent, you know, at that time. And uh, so anyway, he gave me a script. He's like, here, look, read for this. We'll just call it even. And that was Phantoms, and that was Power Rangers is what it was. And I remember reading the script going, like, Zordon. I'm like, who the heck is Zordon? And I remember I was reading for the Green Ranger. Then I was thinking, if i got to wear, like, a, a park ranger suit, that's fine, too. I thought it was like a ranger suit, you know. <laughs> so I didn't really know what it was. And then when I got the role... I show people the pilot, and I swear everybody, including family too, was like, oh, that's cheesy, that's never going to sell. And then I went to other agencies, and they were like, oh, that, that show's never going to sell, and it's one of the biggest kids show in the world. You know, and, uh, yeah. So all the people that say, no, 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 you know, it's like, ha-ha. Ha-ha. Okay, uh, with the Rocky TV. Rocky. Rocky. I say Rocky because Rocky changes it. You know, the show, his character Rocky. Rocky. You just got finished up filming a movie. What's the story behind it? Oh, with the uh, the one warrior. Yep, I just finished the movie. Um, I, I might have the trailer tomorrow. I'm not too sure. But uh, it's with James Russo and Dominic Keating, and it's called The One Warrior. There's tons of fighting in there. I kind of felt like I was back on Power Rangers, though, because I fought. It's, it's based in a video game world, so my character battles all these different people in this video game world and uh, different creatures, you know, and, and tall people and ninjas and all this stuff. So I was fighting. I mean, when I booked the show, uh, when I booked the show, they wanted me to audition for it. And I was like, I don't really want to audition for the show. It's in Alabama. I don't know what's in Alabama. And, uh, so anyway, yeah. But the scenery was cool. I mean, the scenery was really cool out there. So it kind of looks like a... Um, like, um, Hercules and Xena type of show. So, but lots of fighting and stuff like that. It's just based in a video game world, really, is what it's about. And, uh, you know, so hopefully it'll come out in about six months. Probably Sci Fi Channel, something like that. But, Did you do a barrel roll? Did someone say do? Yeah. Oh, I think it's a do. It's like, oh. <laughs> What's that? Can you do a barrel roll? <laughs> you can see that on, on YouTube, too. <laughs> Yes? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of YouTube, uh, first, your MMA is fracking awesome, by the way. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank I, you. Got, I got two questions about, two questions made a little request. First question is, have you ever thought about using the Green Ranger uh, theme as your entrance for your mixed martial arts? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I'm glad 
could, and I'm glad you spoke about Cybertron because we, because the, I think the first episode circulated online, and it's really interesting. My question is, what happened with that? Why did you switch back to Power um, Rangers? We sold it worldwide, and uh, it was just a, a, an executive call. Really, what happened was when I left the show, petitions came in for the Green Ranger that they were mad that I left the show. They were very angry. Kids around, like literally, kids around the world weren't eating. And uh, Fox was really, was real. Fox was really scared that this is going to cause some kind of big, you know, controversy. So they brought me back to the show. At first, I was disappointed, but then when I saw the show and I knew it was syndicated, you know, our show's network and it's still network, you know. So I was pretty happy to go back on Power Rangers. I thought it was a good move. I'd hate to sit, you know, and, and be our trooper seats and watch Brad as the White Ranger, you know. So, uh, but um, but what was your first question? Oh, um, my first question would be your MMA career. It's oh yeah. Awesome, Thank excellent. You. I don't want to fight you. And, uh, <laughs> and my question is, when you when you go out, wouldn't it be funny if you had the Green Ranger oh, like, right, yeah. entrance? One of my buddies, Mike, uh, the Greek, he's uh, he's a pro MMA guy. He was gonna do this whole thing, you know, because you know what, like Pride. That's what they do in Pride. The yeah. entrances of Pride are like you get so much controversy. And I was gonna do that. Actually, gonna have one of the guys come out. But you just gotta make sure you win that fight. You look stupid if you didn't <laughs> So, but I was gonna have you know the uh, smoke and stuff, and the green range would come out in the costume, and then bam, hit flashes, and then just he'll disappear and I'll appear and ready to fight. But sometimes uh, going into a fight, you know, I gotta you gotta clear your head and stuff like that. So, but you can fight me anytime after yeah. the, after the panel. Come see me. I'll give you a tight game. Okay. And we'll put it on YouTube. Yeah. I like that. Oh, good. We'll do that. Too. I have a Troy <laughs> Just remember when he when I kick him, he knows. I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>